Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, this is going to be part 2 of the Blender FPS platform creation. Uh, and when last I left you, we had created uh, the basic cube with the movement and the mouse look and the running setting. Uh, if I double tap Z, I can run. Um, if I go to camera view, you can see that I can look around, I can walk. So now like I said before, we are going to animate this empty that is controlling the camera. So let's get to it. Now the first thing you need to do is go to animation, of course. Um, let me just quickly enable my space keys. Okay, okay. Um, in the animation. Keep in mind that in the uh, Blender game engine, if you if you're working with actions and animations and stuff, you need to be uh, doing them in the action editor, not in the dope sheet. Action. So click on action by uh, clicking here. Action. Now you can create different actions and give them names like this one. Let's name it walk. Okay. So this is going to be our walking animation. Um, now, uh, keep in mind that we are not going to be animating, um, we're not going to be inserting any keyframes as far as the location goes because uh, if we do so, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's not gonna work properly, it's just gonna stuck here and do the animation in this center here. Uh, so we're just gonna animate the rotation. Now, to do so, uh, I find it very helpful to bring out this uh, transform option here, uh, so you can look at your rotations. Now there are zero, 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 okay, and we are in the frame zero. So just hit with the put your mouse here with the empty selected and hit I, and inserting keyframe, just click on rotation. So the first frame is going to be still like this, zeros. Uh, now, let's go to second frame, uh, frame number 10, 10th frame, and now um, the, uh, the camera is going to go up slightly and rotate uh, on the left, on the z-axis by, by a positive number. So, let's, let's do that, hit R, X to lift it up like that, and let's, let's say 0.5. It's just going to be slightly, a uh, slight value, small one, because uh, when you when you're viewing it from the camera's perspective, it's going to be, it's going to have a huge impact, okay? Uh, and it's going to be, uh, actually, let's say one, not not point five, just one on the x. So it's going to rotate on the x by one, and on the z by point five. So just pointing left uh, and hit I rotation. That's the uh, second frame we inserted. Now let's go to frame 20 and now it's gonna come down again so it's gonna be 0 on the X but it's, it's, uh, it's gonna continue rotating on the Z so it's gonna be 1 on the Z and hit I rotation. Now on the frame 30, it's gonna rise up again. So it's going to be uh, whatever value we inserted down here. It's gonna be one on the X, and it's gonna be 0.5 on the Z. So it's gonna start rotating right. It's gonna start coming back. And hit I rotation. And the last frame, frame 40, it's going to be all zeros. So just hit Alt R on the empty air to clear the rotation of it. And hit I rotation. Okay, so basically there's just five, uh, five uh, insert inserting frames five times. Uh, so to to preview this animation. Uh, change the starting value to 0 
and the ending value to 39 uh, whatever the last frame is the frame before it previous to it the second to last frame because th the first frame and the last frame are uh, the same because uh, if you put 40 it's gonna do the last frame uh, twice and it won't look uh, looped so this is how you loop it so if we hit alt a to begin play you can see the camera is moving if I go to camera view uh, you can see that we have a simple walking animation here okay so uh, I mean you can uh, if you f if you feel that the values are exaggerated or less than they should be just change them here or you can just go to graph uh, the F curve editor here in the graph editor and just uh, select this one and hit shift s and then cursor to value and then select everything and go right here by s hitting the um, holding the middle the middle mouse button and uh, scroll this sideways and change this one to 2d cursor and you can scale it hit s and scale on the y and you can now exaggerate the values or bring them down like so if i do that and I go to preview the animation you can see that it's more subtle than it was before that might work for you um, I'm just gonna put it back where it was Okay. Uh, so let's go to uh, game logic to set that to, to set the animation the action so we want whenever we're pressing the Z when we're walking we want this to play the action so with the empty selected let's add a keyboard sensor it's gonna be Z and add a state remember I told you that if you're working with actions it's best to put them in separate states I find it uh, to avoid issues okay uh, it's gonna be set state and it's gonna put it put us in the second state okay and this is end and controller let's bring out the states and go to second state and add an always sensor and an action this is gonna be action okay connect them both this is going to be the walking action just because um, whatever you named it is gonna pop up in this menu and remember I told you that this is the end frame this is the starting frame starting frame is zero it's what we want the ending frame is going to be 39 and change this from play to loop stop okay so let's see what that looks like uh, if I hit Z the camera is moving and I'm walking okay um, let's set up our um, our comeback so just hit Z invert we're not pressing the Z take us back to the first state just connect this and go back first state okay um, so now we have the basic walking animation working fine and when I let go it stops hit it it walks and that's it so now let's set up our running animation now uh, let's go to animation and basically the running is going to be the same as walking except it's going to be faster and maybe slightly more exaggerated in the values so to do that oh uh, by the way when you make an action make sure you hit this F button I find out that if you don't click it the action uh, sometimes disappears when you reload the blend file I don't know why maybe it's because um, this is the saving button if you click it you save the action uh, so just make sure you click it and now uh, like I said the running is going to be the same as walking so just click this little three button here 
and now it's duplicated the action it's called it walk.001 so change it to run and like I said it's going to be faster so hit A select all keyframes and make sure you're in the frame 0 and hit S to scale it so scale it down and just hit 0.5 to make it like twice as fast and ending frame is going to be 19 because this is 20 hit play you can see that it's moving fine now uh, let's save this one now let's go to our game logic and set that up so the same as the cube um, in the second state of the empty we have this option that takes us back to the first state if we're not pressing the Z but we, we don't want it to be right away we want we want it to be a delay just connect it and remember you need to set them at the same value 14 uh, this one was 14 right here delay it was 14 so set them at the same value so you avoid issues um, so 14 and the delay happens if I press the Z meanwhile in the delay I want you to take me to the state of running the third one so now let's go to third state and let's add an always sensor with an action and connect them both this is going to be run the ending frame is 19 change this from loop play to loop stop it's very important um, yeah basically that's it uh, let's add another keyboard sensor is gonna be Z invert and this is going to be state and connect them both and first state if we're not pressing the Z take us back to the first state so let's test this out uh, hit P to play I can start walking you can see the camera is moving I double tap and I'm running okay I go he stops so that's it guys for me I hope you've learned something uh, I hope I was useful and I'll see you in another video take care